Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The reading is taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 46 to 53. Jesus told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem you are witnesses of these things I am going to send you what my father has promised but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high when he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. The gospel talks about the ascension of the Lord into heaven. Uh, we mentioned this in our prayer of the ano nga yung prayer yun? The Apostles' Creed. He ascended from the dead. You know? And this uh, is a reality that reminds us all that um, there is life after death. And that death is not an end. Death is a beginning. Hallelujah. Sabi nga nung kanta, He conquered death. Hallelujah. Kaya this is what gives us hope. The hope of living again. You know, if there is no life after death, then there is no sense of having hope. Diba? You know, but this uh, particular hope is what makes us live. And that when we die, we are going to live again. In our Catholic or Christian belief or life, uh, we know that um, death is just another door to life. Hallelujah. No? So, um, I think that difference sets us from the saints. Ang mga saints, nagmamadaling makita ang Diyos eh. They are really willing to die. Hallelujah. Yung mga followers nga ni John the Beloved, nagre-reklamo eh. Nagre-reklamo yung followers ni John the Beloved kasi si Saint John the Apostles, ay namatay by old age. Hindi siya naging martyr. Sipin mo, nagre-reklamo yung mga followers. Bakit hindi namatay by martyrdom? No? Si John. Samantalang yung ibang apostles died by martyrdom. At uh, ano nangyari? Well, uh, madali nilang, ag agad nilang nakita si Kristo. Face to face in heaven. And that is forever. That is where fullness uh, comes into perfection. Now, when we die, 
and live again. But, you know, uh, kumisan siguro iisipin ng tao, eh, hindi pa naman pala ngayon yan eh. No? No, pag namatay pa kami, kaya hindi kami masyadong interesado dyan. Pero teka muna, teka muna, di ba may hamon si Lord? Anong hamon niya? If you want to follow me, sabi niya, you must first die to yourself. No? Hallelujah. ba? Diba? Yun ang sinasabi ni St. Paul. You know, you must die to yourself and then Jesus will live. No? Nangyayari yan pag dumadating yung Holy Spirit sa buhay ng tao. Kaya nga, kaya nga, it was mentioned here, I'm going to send you what my Father has promised. And what is this? The Holy Spirit. The Spirit that will give us life. Kaya nga yung seminar natin is life in the Spirit. Because that is the beginning of life. Sabi nga natin, uh, it is the beginning of sainthood. What? To be baptized in the Spirit. Diba? Binabanggit na ito ni Pope Francis, eh, the first Pope that is mentioning life in the Spirit. The first Pope that even mentioned several times, baptism in the Holy Spirit. No, not the sacrament of baptism, but baptism in the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. And what is this? Baptism in the Holy Spirit. Di ba yan yung prayer sa LSS? Anong klaseng prayer? The prayer that will activate the Holy Spirit. What do, you, what do I mean by activate? Why am I using the word activate? Eh, kasi the Spirit was stifled when it is not in control of your life. It is stifled. Sabi nga ni St. Paul at paborito ito ni Brother Bing Bong, to be controlled by the human nature results in death. To be controlled by the Holy Spirit results in life. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You know? So, so uh, to be controlled by the human nature results in death. Pero di ba? Di ba? You have to die first so that you will live. So, if sin makes us die, then an opportunity to live again is present. That is the life in the spirit. Kaya nga sinasabi ni St. Paul yun eh, to be controlled by the human nature, you are dead. Pero teka muna, when you are dead, there is hope of life. What kind of life? To be controlled by the Holy Spirit. Yun yung sinasabi dito ni Lord. Now, I will give you the Holy Spirit, what my Father promised, so that you will have life. Life in the Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, I've been in the renewal for 33 years. And I have been um, faithful because God is faithful. It is His faithfulness that makes me bear the fruit of faithfulness. Ulitin ko. I can say I am faithful kasi 33 years na kaya ako na kay Lord at about 32 or 31 years of that is serving Him full time. Pero why am I faithful? Because am I good? Am I loyal? And am I, am I a, a, a good follower? No, well, maybe yes. But all of these things come from the Spirit. All of these things come from God. I am faithful because of the faithfulness of God. He hangs on to me. He lifts me up. He keeps me afloat. Hallelujah. That makes me faithful. Diba? By the Holy Spirit. So, when you are maintained by the Word of God, maintained by the Gospel, lalo na, hallelujah, you are kept afloat, living. No? Praise be to God. No? Uh, sabi niya kasi, uh, you must die first to yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. I think this is the reason why Uh, today, in this gospel reading, he is mentioning his passion, death, and resurrection. You know? Dying on the cross and living again. You know? Bakit? Pick up your cross. Hallelujah. You know, kuminsan marami nagsasabi, ang cross daw ay yung problema niya. You know? Ilan sa mga tao nagsasabi, ang cross ko, yung asawa ko. You know? 
Hallelujah. Meron akong narinig na pare, sabi niya, uh, sa isang uh, misa daw, kwento-kwento lang naman ito. Sabi niya, itaas mo ang iyong uh, problema sa Diyos. Ang tinaas daw nung mama, yung kanyang misis. Ito ang aking problema. You know, praise God. Yun ang sa many times na tinatawag nating cross. Cross ko yung problema niya. Ito yata ang cross ko eh. Is that correct? Well, maybe, but uh, you must remember that the cross is full of grace. Kung isinusuka mo yung problema, kung yung problema is bringing you resentment, if the pain is making you, hallelujah, what? Um, sinisisi mo yung kapwa mo. Please do not call it a cross. Ulitin ko. Kung ayaw mo yung nangyayari, don't call it a cross. Because the cross has to be embraced. The cross is a power. Sabi nga niya, repentance and ano ba ito? Isa? Forgiveness is made available through this cross. Hallelujah! The cross is a source of grace and blessing. You pick it up, embrace it, accept it. Hallelujah! No? How do you go about that? Well, simply lang, uh, uh, in, in a prayer, pwede mo naman sabihin, Lord, di ko kaya to. Nahihirapan ako. Gusto kong magalit. Pero Lord, huwag ka nang pumayag na magalit ako. Turuan mo kong tanggapin ito. Turuan mo ito, mo akong uh, batahin ito. Turuan mo ko, tulungan mo kong bitbitin ito. At ito ay offer ko sa iyo as my share of your cross. Oh my God. You're a candidate for sainthood. You don't need to carry that cross at mag... Uh, Uh, hagupit ka ng sarili mo at ipako ka katulad ng ginagawa sa, sa, sa Pampanga. No? No? There are many crosses in life that can be a source of blessing, a source of grace, opportunity to die to yourself, to decrease. Tanggapin mo. Sabi nga, kaya mo ba? Sabihin, I deserve it. Now, this is what healed me and my family and my wife. Many times, the Spirit is able to convince me. I deserve it. I am not a good person. Have I been persecuted? Have I been um, persecuted? And siniraan na ba ako? Ichinismis na ba ako? No, if, sa pagtalikod ko ba, nakatikim na rin ako ng kung ano-ano sinasabi ng aking kapwa. Maraming beses po. At the beginning, it made me feel bad. Made me vengeful. At awa sa sarili. Bakit nila ako ginaganito? Ano bang kasalanan ko sa kanila? Pero, ano, as you As you begin to recognize the redemptive value of pain, redemptive value of persecution, the redemptive value of the cross. And may ibig sabihin no, redemptive value. Eh, yung makita mo na when you embrace the pain, accept it when it comes. It gives you a new life. You die and live again. Hallelujah. Death is an ingredient to life. No? Pag binabanggit nga natin yung, uh, yung uh, prayer ni King David, create in me a clean heart. Pag sinabing create, kailangan nothing. Sin has the power to make you nothing. But rejoice when you and me are nothing, then God can create something. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, when the Lord is inviting us to die to ourselves, to pick up our cross, the next time 
that we have problems. Embrace it. Tell the Lord, I deserve this. Tell the Lord, Lord, samahan mo lang ako, hindi ko to kaya eh. I deserve this. We deserve it. Hindi ka naman mabait eh, di ba? <laughs> ano? Hallelujah. Pwede, ka, pwede kang pumalag sa persecution. Pwede kang magreklamo, maawa sa sarili, manisin ang kapwa. What? If you are a good person. But are you? Am I? No, we're, we're sinners. Whatever bad things are happening to our life, these are the things that we deserve. The good things happening to your life. We do not deserve that. It is the cross that made those good things available to us. No, 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 no. We deserve to die. We deserve to be punished. But by the grace of God, by the power of the cross, passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, you and me who deserve punishment and death, God is able to make you and me deserve forgiveness, mercy, and life. Hallelujah. I know that there will always be a part of us, or rather, we will not, we are not exempted from problems and pains. It is part of life. Kung nagdadasal kayo ng Heng Hail, Holy Queen. Sa Hail Holy Queen, ang ganda ng paalala sa atin, Valley of Tears. Sabi sa Hail Holy Queen, we live in the Valley of Tears. No one is exempted. Mama Mary suffered so much pain. Kaya nga sa Hail Holy Queen, sinasabi natin doon, it is Mary who will understand. It is Mary who will have the compassion to pray for us and intercede for us. Because Mary knows that all of us will go through the valley of tears. But praise God. Rejoice. Take heart. These things are the source of life, of blessing, of transformation, or of a new heart. So when we accept when we embrace that cross and die, it is an introduction or a door to a new life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Panginoon, when you show, showed us your ascension into heaven, it makes following you more meaningful. Because when we begin to follow, follow you and be called disciples or followers, we are walking, Lord, towards where you are going. And that is to be to ascend into heaven. We may not experience real, real ascension into heaven yet, but in our daily life, when we have the courage to accept the cross, the courage to embrace the pain when it comes, the courage to say, Lord, help me to forgive, help me to ask forgiveness, then we will ascend from our old self into the new self. Then we will ascend from a darkness into your bright light. We will ascend, Lord, from the bondage of sin to a life that is free to love you, to serve you, and give you glory. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.